All right, welcome back. Time for Wine Wednesday. Now, a winery near Dallas, Oregon, just west of Salem, has a new tasting room for you to discover. And they have more than just wine. They also have pizza. Oh, yeah, we're talking pizza <laughs> oven. Good stuff. Andante Vineyard has an awesome wine selection, including some rare white wines that you might not normally find in this part of Oregon. Joining us in the studio to talk about their winemaking and their recently completed brand new beautiful tasting room is co-owner Karen Sell. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here. Thanks yeah, for joining glad you're us. Here. I was really lucky to get to go and visit Andante Vineyards. Uh, your new tasting room is beautiful. Tell us about the space. Thank you. So the tasting room was finished about two years ago. Uh, we just finished a covered patio this last summer. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're installing heaters over it so that we'll be able to use it year round. Nice. Perfect timing. Yes. That's where the pizza oven is. Uh huh. But Andante itself is um, in the Dallas area. We're north of Dallas, about 20 minutes west of Salem. The area that we're in is called the Van Duzer Corridor AVA. Mm. And it's just a gorgeous part of the Willamette Valley. Uh, about a mile away from us is a National Wildlife Refuge. Oh, nice. And it's, it's stunningly beautiful. So when we found our property, it was just a field of wild grass and a pond and an oak woodland. Wow. And now we've turned it into a 15 acre organically farmed vineyard. We built a winery about six years ago and our hospitality space is open and ready for guests to enjoy. Absolutely. Wonderful. I we'll love the, uh, uh, the, what you have cooking here too with the fall in mind, those mm -hmm. heaters over by the uh, wood stove for mm -hmm. the pizza also sounding great. I do want to, um, or we do, let's actually let's dive into the food side. I was going to dive into the wine side. I was getting a little ahead of myself. Let's keep diving into what you have on, on the food side of things. Uh, what else do you dial up outside of just the pizza? So we have a resident chef who prepares food Thursday through Sunday. We're open six days a week, but the food is Thursday through Sunday. And um, he's a genius at coming up with uh, textures, flavors, aromas that enhance the, the wines that we serve. Yeah, to really And one of the fun, fun things we get to do is, is he'll bring things out and say, let's try this with the Pinot Noir. Let's try that with the Aligote. And, and then we come up with these wonderful combinations that our guests can enjoy. Wonderful. Super fun pairings. You mentioned Aligote, which is a, a white wine that we don't always see in, in Oregon's wine country. So let's talk a little bit about some of your wines and, and what you've been able to kind of curate here. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, most people know that the Willamette Valley is internationally known for Pinot, Pinot and Chardonnay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So of course we make beautiful examples of that. But in addition, we make um, some more rare wines. We have Aligote, which is a Burgundian white. It grows in the same place in France that Chardonnay and Pinot grow. So oh, we so thought- it's happy here. Let's huh. put it here. Yeah. We have Gamay. Um, in fact, the pink bottle here is a bubbles that we made with Gamay and Pinot Noir. Oh, wow. Uh, we have Sauvignon Blanc, which I'm gonna share with you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we, we make a white uh, Pinot Noir, where we just press it off the skin, so mm -hmm. it's Pinot Noir fruit, but no red. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And then, let's see, Marsan, and we're getting ready to release our first traditional sparkling. Oh, oh how exciting. exciting. Early next this year. Is, I know that the uh, the Sauvignon Blanc is obviously good. Your Sauvignon Blanc was like a total knockout for well, me. Well, I mean, we these were these were poured, we laid them down, and before we popped on, Emily goes, Travis, these are to die for. This this wine this is, is just faves. delicious. So, mm -hmm. and, and, and great stuff. I mean, you can speak to it more than I can. No, I'm going to let Karen, she's the pro. Tell yeah. us about your Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> the Sauvignon Blanc is made entirely in stainless steel. Mm -hmm. It was a native yeast fermentation. It has really ripe tropical fruit notes and it has a very crisp acidity, uh, which is what you want in this varietal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we love it. I think yeah. a lot of people know Sauvignon Blanc from some of the New Zealand stuff, and it has like that mm. real like minerality, which is great. I love that too. But Oregon expression of Sauvignon Blanc is just fun and fruity and tropical, and I, I just love it. Great. It's, it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. Cheers to your, to your new outdoor yes, pizza cheers. oven and tasting area. It's gonna be heated and cozy for fall. What a perfect way to spend a day in wine country. Karen, Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for being here. Again, check out their full wine selection and to book an indoor or outdoor tasting, go to andantevineyard.com.